Hi everyone, we're the DWRL's Assistant Directors. I'm Sean. And I'm Trevor. And Scott's the one pulling all the bling-tastic strings in the background. We've had a really exciting and productive year here in the DWRL. Thanks especially to our fearless leader, awesome coordinator and sysadmin, and super fantastic project groups. We'll let the groups themselves tell you about all the awesome work they've been up to, but before we do, let's take a look at everything else the lab has been up to. This year, we implemented the Digital Writing and Research Certificate, a professionalization opportunity whereby members of the lab construct portfolios of their work in digital literacies, media, pedagogy, and more. Instructors begin by building a digital platform for their work and then populate it with items like blog entries on disciplinary conversations, links to their scholarship and pedagogy, vitas pertaining to digital studies and beyond, catalogs of technologies with which they are proficient, and any relevant images or audio video materials that they've created. As instructors build their portfolios, they check off criteria as they meet them, and whenever they're ready, they submit their portfolios to faculty and others for vetting. The result is a multifaceted and highly marketable portfolio that showcases instructor work accompanied by the DWRL's very own seal of approval. Of course, our instructors have plenty of material to draw on to create their portfolios. At the DWRL, our primary commitment is to implementing new technologies in our, in our classrooms. For a number of years now, we've built a stockpile of lesson plans on our website, and teachers from all over have taken advantage of them. But we felt that the richness and diversity of the work we've produced needed a dedicated home that anyone and everyone could use. Today, we are pleased to announce the implementation of our brand new and super fancy lesson plan site, designed by Kate Blog. Kate, who is also our incoming assistant director this year, worked diligently on designing a site that's easy to navigate and accessible from mobile devices. Drop by our pod after the group presentations to see the wealth of pedagogical tips and tricks that are available on the new site. There are plans to suit all tastes and technological proficiencies. As Kate will tell you, many of our lesson plans are even adaptable to chalkboard-only classrooms. Part of the fun of working at the lab is that we're always trying to share the love. Not only have DWRL instructors been busy teaching and contributing to the project groups you'll hear about in a minute, they've also designed and produced some seriously excellent workshops. In the fall, we looked at how writing teachers can use video games for rhetorical analysis. We also had workshops on professional images and elevator speeches for braving the job market, as well as an overview of the learning record, a revolutionary approach to assessment that helps students to take charge of their own progress. And lastly, we looked at how you can use Drupal to create fantastic looking websites. In the spring semester, the lab held a workshop on creating video assignments in the literature and rhetoric classroom. And we also hosted a session on navigating the digital studies job market from someone who has lived to tell the tale. Likely the most successful workshop th session this year though, was our Labapalooza, a whiz bang double workshop event that brought in over 40 participants from around the university where we looked at helping students to publish their digital work in online journals and introduce the lab's augmented reality game Battle Lines, both of which you're going to hear more about shortly. Standing alongside Labapalooza and today's showcase, our biggest shindig of the year was the DWRL's annual speaker series event, and this year's was a doozy, as y'all say here in the US of A. Titled Rhetoric, Memory, Technology, this year, the lab tried something new, putting together a multi-speaker panel consisting of scholars Barbara Biesecker, Josh Gunn, and Alex Reed. We had a really successful event with over 70 people in attendance, and they got to hear some fantastic presentations on Holocaust memory, recorded laughter, and in human memory. If you missed the event, you'll soon be able to watch it on our website, along with hearing some fantastic interviews with our speaker series guests. We hope you'll be as excited about them as we are. <laughs> 